Here's what my fractions program looks like when I run it. So let me put a couple of numbers in there. I'll do four sixths and five eighths, all right? And you can see when I click add, it gives me the result of adding the two fractions, yeah. Subtract, that also works. And I can multiply and I can divide and I can simplify. So 32 over 30, right? It puts into lowest terms, that's 16 fifteenths. And I should, let me subtract something that's, oh, let's do like, 15 eighths. So now when I subtract, I get a negative value. So it should be able to handle negatives as well. And when I simplify, it should also be able to reduce that fraction. So you need to write uh, five functions, actually a function to add, one to subtract, one to multiply, one to divide, and one to simplify. And I have the HTML part of this written for you, of course. So these are input type text boxes. This first numerator here is called num1, so you'll have to obviously get the contents of that using, you know, how to do it, document.get element by ID. This is num1. The bottom, un oh, this one next to it is numerator2, num2. And then underneath, den1, denominator1, den2, denominator2, these are these two right here. Uh, so you're going to get the contents of these for uh, input fields here and add, subtract, multiply, or divide and then output to right here. Now the output, let's see if I can actually find that output, is um, ID answer two, and where is answer one? Oh, it's way up here. It's a little bit confusing because I have these images in here. So answer one is the numerator answer, and answer two is the denominator answer. I probably should have called it ants num and ants denominator, I guess, or something like that. So this is where you're going to be writing your output again using document.getElementById, and you know how that works. And hopefully you can figure out how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, right? You can get a common denominator of fractions by multiplying the bottoms. You know how that all that works. And then of course, simplifying. Well, how do you simplify fractions? Well, let me add these two here. To simplify, you look for the largest number that goes in evenly to both the numerator and denominator and divide by it, right? So I'm looking for the biggest number that goes into both of these evenly and then divide by that number. So that's how simplifying works. And if it's negative, just you know, be, keep in mind if it's negative, you still have to simplify. So you're still looking for the biggest value that goes into the numerator and denominator and that's what you divide by. So this is a maybe a little bit longer than some of the projects you've been working on, but shouldn't be too bad. Once you get add working, subtract, multiply, divide are pretty similar, and simplify is not really that long either. All right, good luck on the project. Thanks for watching.